welcome to K9 TV. I'm your host, Kitty Katorik. Today we explore the dark underbelly of a fashion craze that has swept the nation. Designer dogs over the past five years have begun to replace diamonds as a girl's best friend. But what happens when designer dogs go out of style? Our field correspondent, Madison Pooper, hit the streets to find out. Warning. The following footage may be shocking to some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you, Kitty. I'm here at Ruffalo Exchange Vintage Designer Dog Boutique, located in the heart of the Haight-Ashbury. Shop consignment specialist Alexandra McTween buys back last season's designer dogs and sells them second hand, or shall I say second paw, to shoppers who want brand name dogs for less. Well here at Ruffalo Exchange we sell only the best of last season's top designer dogs. Jack Russells, Shih Tzus, Jack Shits. Fascinating. But what happens to the dogs that don't make the cut? here with Reverend Barksdale at St. Bernard's Shelter for the homeless, downtrodden, and indigent dog. Located in San Francisco's Tenderloin District for answers. Well, the second Paris Hilton upgraded her chihuahua to a chihuahua, we have seen a hundred and fifty percent increase in the need for emergency housing. But what happens to the dogs that get turned away? I'm back on Hay Street trying to get a closer look. Warning, what you're about to see may be shocking. Sir, why aren't you in the shelter? <coughs> My owner kept me in a Louis Vuitton purse for over half a decade. Now look at me. I'm crippled for life. Straight sheet, get your straight sheet. Help a pup out, will ya? Sir, care to comment on the overcrowding of the dog shelters? Fuck the shelters! I'm taking it back to the streets! What we need is revolution! I don't need to bleed, dear boy. Here more than your feet. I know, I know we're hungry. Honey, let's settle for something. Spread it from a cow. But how is this impacting the citizens of San Francisco? Let's find out. Um you know there's a war going on, right? Why don't you film that? Indeed, there is a war going on, right here in the streets of San Francisco. What do we want? Freedom for dogs! When do we want it? Now! Dogs die! Kittens cry! Excuse me, miss, are you here for the protest? Care to comment? What we should really be talking about is live salamander jewelry. It is the hot thing for fall. We interrupt this segment to bring you barking news from Washington, D.C where the designer dog crisis has reached catastrophic proportions. We go now to David Schmeggery, who's on the scene. Kitty, it appears the White House has been the target of a terrorist plot. Security forces have just confirmed that a flaming bag of what appears to be dog feces was found on the White House lawn early this morning. At noon, the press secretary released a statement that Bo, the presidential dog, has been missing since sundown. There is no news yet on his whereabouts. However, the tone inside the Beltway is tense as the nation's best and brightest grapple with what appears to be a canine coup d'etat. And that's the news right now. We'll get back to you with more information on this shit. Back to you, Kitty. Oh, thank you, David. It seems the White House has a real dog disaster on its paws. Stay tuned after the bark, and we'll be speaking with Snuggly McCuddle's Bo's wet nurse during his early years at the White House to see if she can shed some light on this disaster that has been gripping the nation. Great work, Kitty. That's a wrap. Oh, oh my god, that necklace is so amazing. Thank you. It's live salamander. Oh, you're too much. It tickles. Pooper, tell a story who's your bitch. 